First of all, first of all, don't feel bad for me because of the story. So it's 10.35 in the morning. So, um, it's still the 29th, and I'm drinking my coffee that I got last night, slash, this morning, after I went back to take my valuables out of the car, having a juice, I started off the month doing really well, having Drews every day, and now that I don't have any water, any hot water, it's harder to get the juice I had to buy this at the grocery store. So, here we go. On around Valentine's Day, like, it was 2 o'clock on, on February 15th, got up to use the bathroom, and I heard a lot of water running in the upstairs bathroom and I was so tired that I was thinking wait a minute there's no one else in the house who's doing laundry who's running the dishwasher and I woke up a little bit and like I'm the only one in the house so and there's gonna be a problem so I ran downstairs down cellar and I saw this, the, um, the water was gushing, well not really gushing, but gushing compared to not gushing on the floor and most of the downstairs was wet, not flooded but wet. So I was panicking. The reason why this happened is because, unbeknownst to me, I didn't know that outside was 10 below zero and the where the water comes in it's an outside wall we have an on-demand water heater system that's on the outside wall and you know the pipes burst it's two in the morning i was tasting everyone just as a cya maneuver um because no one was up it was two thirty in the morning except in hawaii where my parents are i was texting them and they were not, not getting back to me and it was only like 9.30 oh my goodness, it's 5 hours back, it was something like that so I finally uh, texted my neighbor up the road as opposed to one down the road she told me to call the fire department you know, I was really not wanting to get, do that but I finally did and they came about 4.30 in the morning uh, you know, there was no other end game that didn't involve a call to a fire department. You know, I can't get a plumber here to fix it at 2 30 in the morning, 3 30, 4 30, whatever. You know, people have to sleep. A fire guy, we have a very good fire department, very good police department, very good ambulance department. Everyone is good, and they will come at whatever night, whatever time it is. I really wanted the fire department to come after I called them because there are a lot of wires in the basements. I saw some dead mice and I didn't know if the wires were chewed on. We used to know to go down there and water, electricity. <laughs> if I went down there and would slash around in the water, <laughs> that didn't happen, but just to be safe, the fire department was the one to call. The guy shut off both hot and cold water, so now I had nothing. I went to bed for a couple hours, and my brother's in-laws lived about a half an hour away or something. They came over, and they gave me my cold bag, but the hot was, when you turn on the hot water, it was disgusting, and the water was all over the basement floor. I'm thinking it's gonna mold, but we'll save that for later. Now, oh, I've got my sinks and my 
basically my things. I don't have dishwasher, I don't have washer, I do have dryer. It's dryer doesn't have anything to do with water, but washing, washer is more important than dryer. So I've been doing my hair in the sink, my body in the shower without water, just dumping it over, and I'll show you video, next video. So, I, I don't want you, first of all, I don't want you to be, feel sad about me, because I've been camping before, this is like camping, back in high school, we usually lost power when it was winter, and we had to boil water for, before school, for showers and stuff, and toilets, and just, because the electric we couldn't operate the pumps. We had water downstairs. We had like gallons and gallons of water downstairs. And we no longer have because we have a generator. So it's not as bad as that. I have my bathroom just not in the shower. So I just wanted you to know that what I'm going through, and it doesn't affect me. It just, instead of having a half an hour shower, it's like an hour long. So washing my hair, drying my hair, getting in the bathtub and something up with something, just dumping it all on me to make sure it rinses correctly. That kind of thing. But don't feel, don't feel bad for me. So if you like this comment, and Click, like, subscribe, comment, <coughs> and I'll see you maybe <laughs> here today. This is my third vlog of February 29th, 2020. Bye.